with Super Bowl Sunday and the Punahou Carnival, but don't forget about the Chinese New Year as we get ready to celebrate the Year of the Boar. Kahala Mall is celebrating the culture, which includes Chinese calligraphy. Joining us now with more is Ina Chang, a Chinese calligrapher. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Up. Thanks for being here. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, so Sunday, big event at Kahala Mall, and you'll be featured there um, during a big portion of the day. Talk about Chinese calligraphy and why it's so important to the culture. The Chinese character is so beautiful, it's even more appreciated and in artistic form when it's in calligraphy. And it's even in um, prescribed by the UNESCO as an in, uh, intangible cultural um, heritage of the humanity in 2009. And um, there are five different forms of calligraphy. Um, I myself is master in two. And is it everlasting um, art and that perpetuates our culture until now today. And then there are even parents who want to um, send their kids and learn calligraphy or traditional Chinese chess to just revive and bring the culture back. And you started learning when you were just eight years old? I did, I eight did. Eight years old. Tell us more about the calligraphy um, as you kind of draw for sure. us and, and what you're doing. All right, so in Kahala Mall, um, I believe I will be there for three hours and I have translated about 50 to 60 phrases where um, it um, congratulates people for the Chinese New Year or good messages for the career, the marriage, um, the health, and the business. So there are everything that you can think of to just celebrate a Chinese New Year. Okay, so if you wanna say something like Happy New Year. Yes, I'll, I'll write that, okay? I can do that, okay? All right. And the, the, the writings I'm gonna do is, um, is called the semi, the semi script. So you'll see that the script is free flowing on the paper, so it's not rigid. And th that way you would appreciate the form of Chinese calligraphy. Um, so. so usually we'll write just one word in this big uh, square paper like this, but um, for the viewers today, I'd like to um, do four characters. Get the, you can get the feel and what do you like about Chinese calligraphy so much? You know, being a business owner of um, Aloha Data for 18 years, it's really hectic and also I'm mom of three. Oh. So um, calligraphy would calm me down. And again, you are writing Happy New Year. And if someone doesn't really have that many artistic talents or skills, you know, they're not a very good drawer or artist, can they still learn this? Can they still master it? Yes, they can. Um, because people come from different backgrounds, different art artistic training in the past. Um, they bring different energy to writing the, the calligraphy. So it's not the art that um, that's very subjective. It's pretty... Um, objective and you know you have different viewpoint of how you um, appreciate the art yes it's very really pretty very Thank gorgeous you. so this is for the chinese new year okay and i want to write something for the um, station okay and what are you writing i'm writing um i want to i want i wish the um the station to have good viewership okay yeah i like that Chang continues our personal message. We'll tell you more about the event. It is on Sunday, again, celebrating Chinese New Year at Kahala Mall. It starts at 10.30, goes to 3. It is free. You can meet Ina there. She'll be there for several hours. And you'll also have Kung Fu and Dragon Dance. And the Miss Chinatown Court will also be there, along with many other cultural activities. All right, Ina's finishing up our message. Special for KJUN2. Thank you so much, Ina, for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll have much more after the break. Stick around.